What's going on my beautiful people? This is your boy Kevin back in with another video for you guys. First of all, I hope everyone's doing good and thank you for being here. Today, I have another budget phone from Vivo. This one is called Vivo IQ U3X. This one only costs around $99 to $100. It's like where you buy it from. The cheapest place you can actually find this phone it is on AliExpress. You can find it from other website, but it's gonna be more money. What we're going to do today guys, we're going to be doing the unboxing of this phone. But before we do that, please make sure you smash that subscribe button. There's a little bell at the bottom. Make sure you press that so every time I make a new video, you're going to get a reminder. And please, please, please give this video a thumbs up. So before we get any further to this video, let's go unbox this so you guys can see it close up. Eighteen watt supercharge. For the rear, you get two cameras. You have a flat, shiny back, and you have a little tiny bump for the camera. And you got a huge display with a little water drop front selfie camera. And that's your fingerprint scanner on the side and you got your volume rockers to turn it off you just push it down turns off and push it down again turns off i like the design on it it is a nice design for a cheap phone it does not look cheap. If you look at it like this, put it on the flat surface, somebody looks at it, they're not, not going to think it's a cheap phone because of the design on it. And I like the camera pop up right there, guys, if you guys can see. It does not have a big bump. So if you put it on a flat surface, see, hardly does any wobbling. And you have a huge display on this phone. It is LCD, it's not an AMOLED display. But on a budget phone, $100 phone, they're not going to obviously put an AMOLED display on it because then they're going to lose money. And you get a headphone jack. You must love that. Now let me show you guys what kind of specs this phone comes with. Display 6.58 inch LCD 90 Hz 1080 x 2408 pixels. Platform Android 11 original OS for IQ 1.0 Quantum Snapdragon 480 Quad Core Adreno 619. For camera for the rear you got 13 MP f 2.2 wide 2 MP f 2.4 and you can record 1080p. For selfie camera, you got 8 MP f 2.0 wide HDR 1080. For battery, you got 5000 milliamp fast charge of 18 watt. And you have a fingerprint scanner on the side and face unlock. And for memory, you can get this phone 64 gigabyte, 6 gigabyte, 128 gigabyte, 4 gigabyte, 128 gigabyte, 8 gigabyte. And for colors, you can get it in gray Aurora. Okay, guys. So the bad thing is about it, you guys already can see. Look at all those fingerprints. So every time. You have to use this without a case. You have to spray it. You have to get a cloth. And you gotta wipe it. Because you're gonna get a lot of fingerprints on this phone. So make sure you put a case on this phone. Right out of the box, this phone comes with a lot of Chinese apps. Like all Vivo phones do. Like these things. So pretty much what you can do with these. Let me show you guys. You hold them down. Uninstall. Get rid of them. Because you're not gonna need them. And you're gonna uh, save lots of space in your phone. For main settings, you got your airplane mode, Wi-Fi, networks, other networks and connection. You got your DND, Vivo Share, phone mirroring, printing, multi-screen, and OTG. Notification and status bar, display brightness. This phone gets pretty bright. Then you got your screen colors. Leave it at bright. You get more results out of it. And screen refresh rate. So this phone has a smart switch, 60 or 90. Let's leave it at 90. Let me show you guys what 90 looks like. That's 90. And if you put a smart switch, that's your smart switch. You got your sounds. So pretty much I think they're gonna be all the same ringtones, like old Vivo phones. Yes, they are. System update there, Jovi, system navigation, face, face unlock and fingerprint, ultra gaming mode, system management, let's go here, and languages. Let's see more languages. So this phone's got a lot of languages, guys. Look at this. 
and accounts. That's pretty much for settings. Let guys. me show you guys something quick for multitasking. Say I want Google Chrome. I hold on it. You can uh, split the screen. So that's your split screen. So I can uh, do my thing on top. And for the bottom, say I want to go here. So you can do two things at the same time. I can do whatever down here and I can do whatever I want down up there. That's very cool. Okay guys, now the bad thing about this phone. If you guys can see, I have Google Photo there, Google Chrome. Let me go left. And I have Google Play Store and I downloaded a game. This game was downloaded from the uh, V Store. And I'm gonna show you guys something first before I get into this video because I know a lot of you guys are gonna send me a message, gonna say, oh, you, you should check your system uh, update. This phone is updated to the new version already. Before I say something else, guys, I uh, let me show you guys something. Let me go to Google Photo. It tells you you need to install Google Play services. Let me go here. If I go here, go to YouTube. Let me go inside of YouTube. See this? Let me try to play a video for you guys. It's not going to let me play the video. Let me go to another video. It's not. Another video. It's not going to let me play any videos. Google Assistance, same thing. You need to uh, download Google Play services. And if I go to the game, it's going to pop to something like this. And it's just going to download different apps for me. Like all this, just these apps start downloading. What they're advertising on this phone they're saying that you can download Google Play Store in it, but you cannot download Google Play Store. Yes, you can download it. It's right there, but you cannot open it because you need Google Play services. In this phone, you cannot download Google Play services. One online, I search, nothing. I tried many things on this phone to download Google Play services. You cannot. I even went to their apps. Usually, they have it in here. Automatically uh, downloads it for you when you download uh, Google Play uh Google Play Store. And I reset this phone to factory five times. I went through many things you can imagine. For four hours, I've been trying to do researches on this phone to get it going. You cannot. So I cannot pretty much show you nothing on YouTube, a video so you guys can watch, see the video quality on this phone. I cannot show you pictures because the camera having technical problem with it too. It keeps turning off. Look at that. I can't even show you guys the camera. Even if this phone has technical problem, it should be only the camera because I can browse through their internet and I can go through their stuff. There's no problem and I can open any app. So it's not that kind of technical problem. You just cannot download Google Play services in this phone. Honestly guys, this phone just give me so much headache. It is, uh, I've been working on this phone for almost four hours trying to get it going. Like obviously you guys saw the settings. I showed you guys everything about this phone. The phone start lagging on me. I can't open the camera. I turn it off, turn it on. I factory reset it. I looked online. I looked everywhere. I even look on their website. I still can't figure out why it's doing this. So another bad thing of this phone is, is the Google Play Store. You can obviously download the Google Play Store. You can download Google Chrome, but you cannot open them. You can actually open Google Chrome though. You can go browse through the Google Chrome, no problem. So if you're trying to watch YouTube through Google uh, Chrome, it's not gonna let you, it's gonna shut off. And you cannot download it from the app because it's just gonna tell you, oh, you need Google Play services. You guys know the way I do my reviews, I show you guys everything about the phone. I do gaming, I do camera, I do a video, all that stuff, I cannot show you guys because of this problem. And the phone is having technical problems. Maybe I got the bad one or maybe they're all like this, but I'm not gonna recommend this phone to anybody. And yeah, you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think about this phone. And make sure please you give this video a thumbs up. And I'm going to catch you guys on my next video. So peace out for now.